Hi, hello everybody. This is again another quick one. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, we've had problems in a salon. As you know, I still manage oh, own a salon and the girls have had COVID and Jaden's been on their own in the salon. So I've had to sort of go now and again just to to help out just because of um, not so he's not capable. He's more than capable. It's just that he um, sometimes it's just a confidence thing, you know. So um, I'm there just to watch over so because he's worried that he, <laughs> he might make a mistake. So no problem at all with me. But anyway, um, I've come here today because I want to. I've been meaning to do these for ages because I've done them years ago for scrapbooking and stuff with with the just the beer things. You know that's how they come. The tops. Um, when you put them under the, it's through the big shot. I'll tell you what I do. Right, I think I'm going to put that one in first. These I done first and stuck them on, but I think I'm going to put it on, glue them in straight away, and then then um, squash them. I use the magnetic plate, but you know that's the same size as the other one. So if you haven't got that one, don't worry. Okay, I just do that, yeah, and put that over. And that's that's all I do okay and run it through because you don't want them to totally flatten all right you want it stuck up a bit all right so what I'm gonna do I haven't done one this way yet so I experiment with that I'm um, just running through once because you don't like say you don't want to totally flatten it at all so I'll just stick some glue in there of course wash them <laughs> i soak them in now a bit of soapy water that's all i need to get some more actually i don't know where my i have a big bag of them just and i don't know where they've gone you know same thing they're in a bag somewhere in the studio and yeah okay okay just gonna do that all right, and then I'll squash it. I hope it's glued enough. <laughs> okay, might not be. I might leave it to dry actually first. Let's leave that to dry. Yeah, ink up the circles. One inch pump punch fit mine. Um, let's take that away. Um, you can get anything. It's like these the Tim Holtz things like this so you might look good for a male one so I'll just punch out anything really anything you find just um, like these these are from Tim Holtz old old one. I don't know whether they're still available I don't know that was another one I've got a fly there and I had that one here. These little sheets are usually quite good as well because they're nice and small. But I like using these, so I'm not going to use all of them. Like this one here, I'll try and get a few out of this one because I started it now. So. on here yeah it's the same i think okay yeah i can't do that one now because i've done that in the middle but just get that five in and we'd get that 25 in we might get another one in here Nice for nature one. Let's see if we can. That'd be right. So there's quite a few. Shame we couldn't get him out. He would have been perfect size. Just. Yeah, tad. But then that might be all right. Might be able to get away with that. Okay. Tommy in cup. I think I've got some big um, 
I could put these in actually now I've done it. I'm gonna have a look. Got some inch ones I think. Usually too big, but if we're doing a like a dangle or something, it'd be alright. These ones I like to um, use alcohol on them. I might do that first. Show you how I do those. These are hearts. And, um, I use this one here, antique copper. It's quite nice. I don't mind these so much. They're they're all right because they look quite old, don't they? These in and I'll do them while I'm doing those. So, um, yeah, let me do these first. I might have a clean bag actually. <laughs> There's all bits in here, right? Oops. I don't really want to stick them on. Let's get a clean bag. better anyway won't you and then, and then I put quite a bit in and I'll put some of these in too that's how I do all my paper clips and stuff don't know how to beat that but it just ages them a bit so Okay, I'm quite happy with that. And then leave them to dry. Okay, I put them on a piece of cardboard and take them out of the bag. Okay, so they're all dry now and that's the first layer of the bags, all right? And I'm going to just dab on a bit of um, black on some felt there. I haven't got, I used to have a Tim Holt, you know, thing, but I haven't. So I'm just going to sort of... It is so random when I do this. Okay. If you put it onto felt, it doesn't um, evaporate. It goes the longer way, if you know what I mean. So. And get every one a bit of black on. A bit mad, but I can always fail that off a bit. And that one. You just need to, when you first do them, you just need to um, let that first layer dry and then you can build the mark. I mean, once you've done this, you can actually build it up with paint as well. Yeah. And the alcohol is in the. the the paint, the acrylic paint, tends to stick really well to um, alcohol ink. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've got rid of the sun. You don't want any sun on your work area. I'm doing this, and I've got, I'm right by a window. Okay, could do with doing it in the dark, really, especially in this dry weather. 
um, it cures quite quick, starts to cure quite quickly. And I'm doing it with UV resin, this one, because I've done a bit of research. I've got loads of other resin, which I will use up, um, because I've got, I've got two or three lots, but it's not very environmentally friendly. And I think the UV resin is, so, well, better. I would say so I'm gonna and using that plus it comes in little bowls and you don't have to mix so much up and do so many you could just put the top on and that's it so I'm gonna fill up um, around here I'll put some over and let it drip in there it, it really does work beautifully actually I'm very pleased with it I mean heat embossing takes forever doesn't it Let's just put in these on. Yep. That's what I'll be doing it. I think, well, um, these, you can put a load out in the sun, which I've done yesterday. I've done some sort of dangle things. Um, but on here, it takes a couple of times before it cures. I usually put it on 90 seconds and do it a few times. I'm just going to tip that over and start filling in. There we go. Around that edge there. Okay, just gonna leave that one. Slide it over there. Just to make sure there's no dust, which is a bit hard in here because my place is dusty. It's ever so reasonable too. Oops. Yeah, well ventilated area. Should wear a mask, actually. Gloves, or you could stick your fingers together. And um, I use a pin if I want to um, burst any of the bubbles. Well, that one's going to be great. Except for the hair on there now. You can always pick up, get a bit of hair. Let's pick it up. Yep. And it's on somewhere nice and flat under there, so. Do another one of those. Then I'll do another bottle cap. That was a bit of a tiny bit missing out of that one, if you remember rightly, but it's going to be fine. It's only because I can see it. You could do this with glossy accents too and leave them to dry overnight. But I would say it would work out quite expensive with glossy accents. This is quite reasonable, so. Okay, I'm just gonna tip it, see if we can start filling up there. Don't shake the bottle.
Go away, fly. <laughs> I shall put them in, out in the sun in a minute. Give them a good um, cure in that way. So but let's just get some started so I can move them. But you can do it all under there. You don't need sunshine at all. And it's very quick. So... Okay, so I'll go ahead and do the others and then come back in a bit. Okay, I had to um, stop what I was doing because even with the blind down, there was still too much sun and it was curing really quick. But the ones under here are still a bit sticky, so I thought I'll show you what I do with those. All I do is make a hole in it. And they, they turned out lovely really nice this was this one was definitely better 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 okay so you put the circle in before you squish it that's worked absolutely beautifully okay these ones you get a little bit of a gap don't know why that is but it's okay but they're still filled in but this one worked absolutely how i wanted it to work there's some these ones aren't quite ready yet. These turned out absolutely beautiful too. Okay, there we go. And it's got quite, a, you might not be able to see it, but it's it's sort of domed as well. There. And that's, that's just beautiful. I can't touch it because it's still a bit tacky. And the rest are in there as well. This one's turned out quite nice. So it's got a bit of a bubble in that area here. That sort of was curing as I was doing it. So, but, you know, you learn. So, yeah, these are still a bit tacky. So, I've got to leave them alone. These are fine. So, all I do is make a hole in the top. And thread a thing. You can put a grommet in, I suppose. But, I haven't. I just need to see what I'm doing. Yeah, let's get that in the middle. It goes through easy. So that's where I'll get off it. So um, there we go. Yeah, and then just I'm gonna thread one of those through. And then I will use another one as well. Okay, I should have put it on together, really. A bit daft. Okay. What's that one? a little bit tacky this one actually there we go and um, we don't need anyone anything on that unless we put another one of these i'll put a smaller on that now, this one I don't know what happened, but it started to go a little bit white there. So it's very strange. 
Right, so that's those. Okay, sorry about my hands. I'll show you those. Okay. So these ones aren't quite dry yet. They've turned out lovely too, so look, cut the bubbles in the in that one there. But do you know what? I don't mind. So because they're usually with other things, you know, and they all look great. I'm gonna keep them on there and I'll put them back in the sun tomorrow to real hard enough off instead of me sat here with a with a lamp. <laughs> couple of things to go out okay well thank you very much for watching like i said it's just a little little one today just um i wanted to do some of those so I'll get on with some actual ephemera making and all that tomorrow so i a couple of days messing around trying to tidy up a bit and then i think oh no i've finished tidying and then i just got to make something so that's what i've done <laughs> okay thanks very much everybody speak to you soon bye